he's had plenty of fun with us on his show, so it's about time we return the favor. Please welcome, for the first time on The View, Jimmy Kimmel! I, I think you know who I'm supposed you know, to be. I, I, who? Things ended abruptly with Rosie, and I wanted to give you ladies a chance See, to say goodbye. <laughs> you didn't know? I, these, what do you think? These koosh balls are here my for my God. health? <laughs> oh, my you God. You just stuffed yourself with koosh. I'm so happy to be finally be here. You look disgusted, Barbara. What's wrong? <laughs> You think I, I was smiling at you? <laughs> that was smiling? Oh, well, you know, you were always so nasty to me on the oh, air. Oh, ah, there we go. That we never had you on the show. And they said, how would you like to have Jimmy Kimmel on? And I said, I'm sure he'll be adorable and sweet and nice and I'd love to. So you sit down and the first thing you do is say, I look disgusting. No, I didn't say <laughs> Disgusting. 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 I oh, heard you clogged well, up Miley pleasure. Cyrus's toilet. <laughs> so I hear that you're very excited to be on The View. Is it a sexual obsession or what? Well, you know I've always had a thing for you, Joy. Yes, but, baby. Um, uh, no, I am. I'm very excited to be here. Part of the reason is because you guys would not allow me on the show for so long. Is that does? Why? On, why? I don't why? know. You tell you, me you why. Feel, you feel why? Like because you said well, the most awful things about us day after day. I was day. kidding. I was joking. Oh. Well, you know, I got to even say And then, Jimmy. by the way, I did your show. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I opened your show. Oh, you yeah. Did Academy. You forget. Right. Yeah. You did, an, you did a show <laughs> in which you tore apart our Academy Award show, and I opened your show. I that was nice. I think about time you. you and I gave each other a big hug, Rosie, okay? Uh, okay, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> this is so bizarre to me. <laughs> Don't wait a hug, but we can take that's, that's, it further. Oh, I love it. it. That's now, like killing two birds with one stone right there. But, Jimmy, but... We, we, we were holding our breaths right up until the moment you came out because you were supposed to be with us in Vegas. Yes. And you canceled because you and Sarah Silverman, our friend, broke up. Yeah. And, and we heard that you just broke up again. So we didn't know if you're going to Is that cancel. because? Yeah. Is it was because it of the, the tranny it's thing? It's a tradition. The tranny thing you're Yeah, maybe about. Sarah don't like you. What happened with you and, and Sarah? Well, uh, you know what? The only thing better than breaking up is going on The View right after you break up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really living a dream. No, no, what happened? Sarah said when she was on, she said, What do you mean what happened? Look at me. What do you think happened? I know, you're straight. I'm a 41 year old man with a bra filled with koosh balls. What do you think happened? <laughs> I'm an imbecile. She couldn't date an imbecile anymore. And well, she liked you for a while. Though. Yeah, but it, you know what? All things come to an end, and especially and when really, you look what, like is this. Is it really so all over? This is Kelly, for Kelly. Oh, for Kelly. Oh, for Kelly. oh it's still oh. part of the thing. Is yeah. it really all over? Or is it just over, and then it's going to be on again and off again? And again? I don't know. Who I mean, you know, I, I think, I don't know. Ask her. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Are you, gl are you glad you're finally here, though? Because it's. I'm very glad time. to be here. I am very, I'm yeah. delighted to be here. And, for a lot of re and I have to say I was nervous about coming on the show and um, because sometimes you guys will pile up on pile on to the guests. Yeah. Right? I mean and that's Whoopi, you haven't said anything to me at all. Is everything okay? <laughs> well, I you know, I just I'm trying to deal with the clothing. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying trying to deal with it. Some of it looks like it's mine and I don't know where you got it. <laughs> so I'm a little, you know. <laughs> But, uh, well, for instance, there's one time, and we showed this clip on my show that um, Ann Coulter was on here. This uh, is yes. a, oh, Ann, yeah. This we is were a, lovely to her. A despicable we were, woman. But she is not. We liked her but very still, much. No, Stop you it. didn't. You didn't. But let's... <laughs> I have a clip here, and this we I thought was this clip. too much. Okay, okay. let's see it. <laughs> the way you're talking to her. Like you didn't have to talk to her. <laughs> 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 I just couldn't remember it that way. That's that was a rough day. Is that why my arm hurts so badly? She's got a hook. See what happens. You pick on me and she'll do the same thing I does. I'm being very careful here. Can we pull the wig off? The wig, I think the wig is glued onto my head. 
You're staying with the wig on for the rest of the show? The rest of the week. Oh, that's okay. That's disturbing. Okay. <laughs> we got you with Jimmy. Okay, we're so glad that you're staying. And more with Jimmy Kimmel when we come back. Jimmy Kimmel, man, you saved my life. I did, and I want you to know that I would never set your house on fire intentionally just so you'd owe me and then have to do my show. Uh, that never crossed my mind. Good, because not the case here. You set my house on fire? Okay, look, I'll do your show, but please, please save my cat. Done. We're back with Jimmy Kimmel, but before I get to the question I want to ask you, I just want to say, you you have now started this trend of doing other women. Can we show you as the Octomom, which is one of my favorite visuals oh, ever. Oh, my God. Ever, ever. That's, that now, was in between child number 19 and 30. Yeah. Don't I look just like her? Yeah. Now, listen, you, your show is in its seventh, um, the seventh season. It's yeah. stronger than ever. I mean, Cruz is doing commercials for you, kind of wonderful. Is this where you thought you would be? Did you think it was going to last? Did you want it to last? No, I wanted it to end almost immediately. It's a hard job, you know? And, like, the, <laughs> after three weeks, I was like, oh, God, please cancel the show already. I can't take... I mean, really, every single What was day. the hardest part? Well, I don't have 11 hosts like you guys do. I mean, you know... <laughs> it's all I, gotta I, carry. It's there's all a on lot you. of pressure yeah. on me. Well, come you, on. You've surrounded... Well, come on. Oh, please, don't even we'll say visit. that. Because I want you to know I invited every single one of you ladies on the show this week. Yeah. yeah. And the good news... Um, Whoopi will be on Leno tomorrow, and Elizabeth will be on Leno tonight. <laughs> but wait a minute. I, I came to you when I went to no one else. I came to that you. That was nice That's of right. you. That and you put me on when nobody would put me on? That is right. You, I did. And Joy was nice enough to come. Elizabeth and Barbara. Need, well, Barbara did tape something. You're the one on the hot seat. I, uh, Why won't you Moving come on. on. You know, you. I didn't realize I that on the show. I could pregnant again in like an instant. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we could do a little birthing. Are yeah, why like, not? I want to witness a water birth. I'll take you to a little Lamaze class. <laughs> Let's do that. Why don't you I get think a that's side kick? Like was... you're coaching. I, uh, there was an article in the paper this week about has sidekicks on a thing of the past. Why don't you get a sidekick? Oh, I kind of have a sidekick. Yeah, yeah, oh, you people. Oh, that's right. But he I mean, you know, himself. like an Andy. Look, Uncle Frank, Frank is here. I am my Where's Uncle Frank. My Uncle Frank is here. He's my security guard. Yes. When you ask them to do something, do they listen to you or is there infighting? Well, there's a lot of infighting. Yeah, there no. Is. Hiring your family. My cousin Sal works on the show. Um, my Aunt Chippy, my Uncle yeah. Frank. And they're they, real. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're real. Yeah, oh, they're very real. <laughs> yeah. My Uncle Frank was a cop in New York for 20 years. In those 20 years, he made six arrests. <laughs> One by accident. <laughs> Lucky him. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask you another... I'm sorry, Don. That's all right. Now that you and I have finally fallen in love. Yeah, yeah, finally. Very cozy. Okay. Seriously, though, everything in late night is changing. I mean, we have Jay Leno now is going to be on earlier, and then Conan's taking his place. Jimmy Fallon's going on after his place. How is this going to affect you, or will it? Negatively, probably. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. People, there can only be so many late night shows. But here's why. There's this, this idea now that we have to give everyone a chance. Like, Jimmy Fallon comes on and does a show. Right. It's like, wait and see. It's not fair to judge him the first mm, night. Right. I disagree completely. <laughs> judge him. I was judged the first night. I want everybody else judged the first night. If you're in a fraternity and somebody sticks your head in the toilet bowl and paddles you on the ass, yeah. you, next year you want to stick someone's head in the toilet bowl and paddle them on the ass. You didn't get good right. reviews in the beginning. No, I still don't. You got don't. killed. You yeah. still don't. Yeah. But now, why, what's the worst thing they say about the show? They call me fat. Oh, uh, so what? No, they, uh, no, I, no, I know it's, it's better now, but it was, yeah. a, there was a lot of beating that went on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, it meant a lot to you, too. So I mean, how do you up wanting gonna, to do this? No, sorry, Brian. I did. How do you think it's going to affect you negatively? Because it's well, too much? No, I was just kidding about that. I really okay. have no idea how it's going to affect you. I think, I think I'll be okay. I mean, we're still, we'll just go on and do our show. And Yeah, I, I was yeah. reading that you said that doing a talk show is like making a marinara sauce. What are you talking about? Well, I was just, um, yammering, but really it's like <laughs> a marinara sauce is pretty much the same ingredients. You your tomatoes and you got maybe some basil or oregano or whatever, olive oil and garlic. Yeah. You have to put it together in a special way. And um, 
I, I think I do. Do you think it's... <laughs> Everything is a food analogy. With I, I, I see that. Yeah. Do you think it's odd that there are no women in late night? Why do you think that is? People don't like women. <laughs> is that why you can't dress as a girl? Wait, wait. And then you wonder why we have not had you on the show. No. We rest on you know, kidding. I do think, I am kidding, but I do think it's interesting yeah, it's that there are no women in late, late night, night and there, no, there are no men in daytime. daytime. Well, yes, there's an are. idea that young men watch You're, late night. Maury Povich is on a That's daytime. not a man, Very please. Maury <laughs> Povich is an alien from another planet. <laughs> You know, Dr. Phil, Dr. I mean, serious. Women are too exhausted from working all day to stay up at night and Is watch late night, Is it that they can't night, relate maybe. to women late at night, the, the core, your core demographic? I don't know. Well, wouldn't, I, wouldn't a man they want never to see even women try at night? It. I would. I would love to see women on, on at late night, especially, you know, if they were swimming yeah. and jumping around. Dream on. <laughs> Well, you know, I think you should stay dressed like this and do your show tonight. That's not a bad That's idea. That's right, see? <laughs> so if you want to see one of the first women in Late Night, you can catch Jimmy Lim and Jimmy oh, Kimmel live Don't weeknights. forget to watch Elizabeth on Jay Leno tonight. <laughs> At 12, 5 a.m. right here on ABC. He's not exactly. Right back. He's got your competition. We have a great, a great week out here. We started off. Fine. Very fine. Jimmy, fine. Okay.